Alright, so we're back in Destiny 2 for another Xur video. Uh, today we are in the EDZ and we are in the Winding Cove. So once you land in the Winding Cove, just pull out your sparrow and follow me. Uh, let's see what he has this weekend. I am kind of late, uh, like always, to making this Xur video, but uh, you know. Better late than never, I guess. Alright, just come through this little cave. And Zer is here. People are already approaching him. Alright, let's see what he has. Alright, for the exotic weapon, Zer has the Vigilance Wing, which is a pulse rifle. The weapon perks are Corkscrew Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Last Stand, Composite Stock. And it does have a catalyst. The intrinsic trait is Harsh Truth. Um, it fires a five round burst. And basically when uh, when uh, a, a, a nearby like ally is killed, you gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. Um, this gun is actually pretty good. And the Crucible, um, it's even better in like game modes like Trials uh, because of this perk last stand which increases the weapon performance and greatly increase recovery when you're the last living member of a fire team so like I said it's perfect for Trials um, since more often than not you have only one life so if you are the last person in your fire team alive uh, last stand procs um, but so uh, so yeah if you don't have this weapon I suggest getting it it's actually pretty good um, it's one of the strongest post rifles out there I don't care about the cabal bro um, it's a public event is starting okay so moving on to the exotic armor starting with the Grabaton forfeits which is an exotic helmet for the hunter the armor perk is vanishing shadow uh, increases the duration of any invisibility effects when you are invisible your melee recharges faster your weapons reload faster and your recovery is greatly increased uh, basically if you like going invisible a lot then graviton forfeit is the helmet for you it has a high mobility and high strength which works well um, since you since your mobility means that you get your uh, your dodge back a lot quicker and when you dodge you go invisible and your strength you get your melee um, which means your your melee the smoke bomb that you throw makes you invisible too so all in all it goes perfect with the perk vanishing shadow and the total stats of 65 so yeah I, I mean if you don't have a graviton forfeits I suggest getting this one uh, moving on to the Ursa Furiosa, which is a exotic gauntlet for the Titan. The armor perk is your sign guard. Uh, move faster while guarding when senses no shield is active. Uh, basically, when you put your big uh, sentinel shield, um, the damage that is uh, shooting at your shield, uh, basically you get your you get energy back super energy back when your super ends um, this is great for PvE activities such as grandmasters uh, raids um, basically any P uh, PvE activity that you play uh, the total stance is 65 um, uh, it's all rounded or like it's all the same um, similar stats um, so it's not that bad, um, but what you're looking for is intellect. That way, Ursa and Guard is procced, since the fact uh, the faster you get your super back, means you're gonna use Ursa and Guard more, which means you'll get your super back even faster. It's all a circle. Um, it's pretty high too with a ten. Um, so if you don't have an Ursa, Ursa Furiosa, then I just I suggest getting this one. Um, finally, Zer has the Karnstein Armlets, which are exotic gauntlets for the Warlock. The armor perk is Vampire's Caress. 
Melee and finisher final blows instantly grant cure and provide restoration for a short time. Basically, when you melee, you get healed. Um, and when you do finishers and their final blows finishers, you can also get healed. Um, it sounds like a gauntlet for PvE, you know, with the finishers and everything. Not so much as PvP. Um, it's not really that great in my opinion, but I mean, if you want to play around with it, you can. The total stance is 66. With the strength not being that high, um, so it won't really help out with the Vampire's Caress perk. Um, that being said, it has a high discipline, recovery, and resilience. Which you may need in PvE activities such as Grand Fall, um, Grandmasters, and Raids. I mean, like I said, there's better weapons, or there's better armor out there for the Warlock. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, for the exotic, for the Hawk Moon, Sir has brought moving targets, which which is actually a pretty good perk. Uh, for hand cannons, um, I would suggest getting this uh, Hawk Moon if you don't have a better one, or you could just wait until Zer brings a perk that you like. As always, Zer has the Xenology quest, which when completed, rewards you an exotic cipher that you can redeem in the exotic archive in the tower. And Zer has also uh, an exotic Ingram, which you can buy with legendary shards. Alright, let's take a look at the legendary weapons, starting with the GN7 rifle, which is a post rifle. Uh, the perks are Zen Moment and Outlaw, which are actually not that bad for PvP, um, but there are better post rifles out there, honestly. Uh, moving on to the Peace of Mind post rifle. Uh, it has auto loading holster, verbal weapon. Um, those are PvE perks. Um, this is this is not a bad PBE uh, post rifle in case you need like unstoppable post rifle or unstoppable but, um, or like overlord post rifle or anything like that. Um, but just keep in mind that you can craft the peace of mind. Um, so yeah, I mean I don't know if you want to get it from Zerb, but you can craft it. Uh, moving on to the spare rations, which is a hand cannon. The weapon perks are moving target, kinetic tremors. Uh, moving target is a good PvP perk for uh, a hand cannon. Um, not so much kinetic tremors. Uh, and the range is not that high for the spare rations, so it's up to you if you want to get it. Uh, moving on to the 7 Seraph. Uh, CQC12, which is a shotgun. The weapon perks are auto loading holster and trench barrel. Not so much, uh, not so great perks um, for PvP. I mean, auto loading holster can be useful in PvE. Um, trench barrel too, but uh, this is more of a PvP shotgun than anything. Um, so, unless you don't have a good shotgun for PvP, just skip this one. Uh, moving on to the Contingency Plan, which is a scout rifle. The weapon perks are firmly planted and kill clip. Um, kill clip is nice, firmly planted, not so much because you have to be crouched in order for it to proc. So if you want to be crouched um, while using a scout rifle, then by all means get it. But um, you mainly want to use this in PvP because of kill clip. So I don't know if you want to be crouched the entire time while using contingencies while using contingency plan. Um, but if you do, then this weapon is the perfect weapon for you. Moving on to the Burnage's memory, which is a grenade launcher. Uh, the weapon perks are thermal plastic grenades and underlog underdog and auto loading holster um it doesn't have sticky grenades so i just, I, I so just skip this just skip this and lastly um zer has the recurring impact which is a machine gun the weapon perks are subsistence 
uh, and frenzy. I'm pretty sure you can craft this weapon too. So do so if you don't have it crafted, you can get this one. But if you do have it crafted, then just skip it. <laughs> 